Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Nobia Agatha Chizova. We continue in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mighty God, the author of knowledge and understanding, we continually call on your mercy and pray for a greater mathematical experience in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're welcome. Remember, if this is your first time of being here, consider subscribing to my channel. All right. Today, we are going to look at integration of trigonometrical function. In the other lesson, we looked at integration as anti-differentiation. Okay? So, since differentiation, of course, x, dx is equal to minus sine x, and differentiation of sine x is equal to cos x, and differentiation of tan x is equal to sex squared x. Looking at integration as anti-differentiation, we now have that integration of sine x dx is equal to minus cos x plus k, the constant of integration, since it is an indefinite uh, integral, okay? And uh, differentiation of sine x is equal to cos x. So integration of cos x should give us a uh, sine x. Plus the constant of integration. Differentiation of tan x is equal to sex squared x. So integration of sex squared x will definitely give us a tan x. All right, having noted these fundamentals, which we got from our anti-differentiation rule, that is looking at integration as anti-differentiation, okay? We got these ones. So suppose you're asked to integrate a sine 2x dx, okay? We are going to make some kind of substitution, okay? In order to make this to be of this form so that we can use this immediately. All right. Now, let u be equal to 2x. All right. Let u be equal to 2x. The u is equal to 2dx, which implies that the x is equal to du over 2, okay? All right. So, substituting this now here, we have that this is sine u du over 2, okay? All right. So you can now see that this is equal to, this is now, with that substitution, we have that this is equal to 1 over 2 integral of this, sine u du. You can now see that it is of this form, sine x dx. So what is integral of sine x dx is equal to minus cos x. 
So what's integral of sine u du is equal to minus cos u, okay? So this will now give us, all right, okay? So we have that this is equal to minus, minus half cos 2x plus k, all right? Okay, suppose you're asked to integrate cos 3x plus 4 dx. All right, now what do you do? We know that integration of cos x dx is equal to sine x, okay? But what we have here is not just cos x, but we have cos 3x plus 4 dx. So we do some substitution in order to make this to be of this form so that we can use what we know, all right? So what do we do? Let this be equal to u. So if 3x plus 4 is equal to u, what is the u? Remember, having assumed this to be equal to u, what we want to do now, since here is now u, we want to get our ds equivalent. What is now our ds, okay? So if this is equal to u, we have that the u dx is equal to 3, okay? This implies that what? That dx is equal to du over 3, All right, so coming up here now, we will now have that this is equal to, with this our substitution here, we have that this is equal to cos u du over 3, which is beautiful. It's now of this form, okay? So cos u du, what is integration of cos u du is equal to sine u. Okay, integration of cos u du is equal to sine u. So we now have that this is equal to okay, substituting your u, we have. All right, so we now have that this is equal to 1 over 3 sine 3h plus 4 plus k, okay? And we are done. All right, now let's look at situations where we have uh, even powers of sine or even powers of cos. What do we do? Suppose you're asked to integrate sine squared x. dx, sine squared x dx, what do we do? Now, let's look at these identities, okay? Remember that that cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b, okay? All right, now what of a situation where a is equal to b? What do we have? If we have a equal to b, we have that this is cos 2a, all right? If a is equal to b, what do we have? We have this. All right, recall also that sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to one, okay? 
recall okay remember this so using this now we have that uh, cos squared a is equal to 1 minus sine squared a and the sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a okay so suppose you are interested in uh, cos squared a what is sine squared a in terms of cos squared a is 1 minus cos squared a Okay, so we have that this is equal to okay, which will give us This implies that uh, cos squared A is equal to All right, so we have cos squared A equal to 1 plus cos 2A over 2. All right. Now, suppose here that you want to get a cos squared a in terms of a sine squared a. All right. What will it be? Cos squared a is equal to what? Is equal to one minus sine squared a. So you will have that. Uh, so you have that cos two a is equal to. 1 minus sine squared a minus sine squared a, all right? Which further simplification gives us a... Uh, all right? Cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a, okay? Which means that... Uh, Two sine squared a is equal to one minus cos two a, and sine squared a is now equal to one minus cos two a over two. All right. Now with these identities, now you can now integrate this easily. Okay. So integration of sine squared x dx becomes a so integration of sine squared s dx is equal to 1 over 2 integration of 1 minus cos 2x dx okay it's now in a good form okay easier to integrate we have learned how to do integration of this form and this one is a constant. So we integrate term by term, and we have that that is equal to okay. Integration of one dx is equal to x. All right, and we have that uh, integration of cos 2x dx is uh, equal to 1 over 2 sine 2x. So we have that this is equal to, is equal to x over 2 minus 1 over 4 sine 2x plus k. Since uh, here we have that integration of cos 2x is equal to 1 over 2 sine 2x, all right? 
1 over 2 times 1 over 2, that's how we've got 1 over 4, okay? All right, so that is the answer, okay? So, in the same way, we can do that because squared x. All right, now suppose you are to integrate this, all right? Where the power is uh, 4, it's still an even power. What do you do to it? Okay? From the identities we had, we saw that cos squared x is equal to one plus cos two x over two. All right? So this will be equal to integration of cos squared x all raised to power two dx, okay? This is equal to this. So we can substitute it and uh, square it. And we have that this is equal to All right, so we square this. So squaring this, we'll have all right, okay? Now, we are having this here cos squared to x. All right, we seem that cos squared x is equal to one plus cos two x over two, okay? By this, cos squared 2x is equal to 1 plus cos 2, 2x over 2. All right? Here now, our x here is 2x. Okay? So we take our x, our x here is 2x here. So with this, it is going to be this. 1 plus cos 2, 2x over 2. Okay? So, using this here, we will have that this is now equal to So, this becomes 1 over 4, integration of 1 plus 2 cos 2x dx plus 1 over 4, integration of 1 plus cos 4x over 2 dx. So integrating this now, we now have that this is equal to remember 2 cos 2x. Integration of cos 2x is 1 over 2 sine 2x. So I have this All right. So remember, we have one over four outside. We have one over four here. So integrate this, you have x. Integrate this, you have a uh, integration of cos two x is equal to one over two sine two x. So you have this. All right. Okay, now for this, we have two here. So two times four is eight. So you have 1 over 8 here into, integrate this, you have x. Integrate cos 4x, you have a 1 over 4 sine 4x. All right, plus your constant of integration. So this will now give us, clearing the bracket, we have x over 4, 1 over 4 times this, plus sine 2x over 4, plus x over 8, 8 times 4 is 32, 1 over 32, 
sine 4x plus k. So you have x over 4 plus sine 2x over 4 plus x over 8 plus 1 over 32 sine 4x plus k. All right. So we collect like terms together. x over 4 and x over 8, they are alike. So we add and we have a 3x over 8 plus sine 2x over 4 plus 1. All right. So we have 3x over 8 sine 2x over 4 plus 1 over 32 sine 4x plus the constant of integration. And we are done. Similarly, suppose you are to integrate this. This is equal to Okay, and we know that uh, sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x over 2. So, so squaring this, you have that this is equal to All over 4. So let me have 1 over 4 here. Okay? So this is equal to... So integrating this, remember that this is equal to what? This cos pair 2x is equal to 1 minus cos 4x over 2. All right, 1 minus cos 4x over 2. Okay, so substituting this here, we have that both is equal to 1 over 4 is outside here, be equal to this plus this. Okay, this is this. Okay, so that integrating term by term, we have that this is equal to. Integrate one is x. Integrate this, you have minus two. Integrate cos two x, you have one over two sine two x. Okay, one over two. I have 1 over 2 sine 2x, okay, plus 1 over 2 is here. Integrate this, you have what? You have x. Integrate this, you have a minus 1 over 4 sine 4x. Okay, plus the constant of integration. So, this will give us uh, x over 4 minus sine 2x over 4 plus 4 times this is 1 over 8. 1 over 4 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 8, so I have uh, x over 8 minus 1 over 8 times 1 over 4 is uh, 1 over 32 sine 4x. All right? 
plus k. This we can simplify further. We have s plus s over 4 plus s over 8. That will give us 3x over 8. So we have 3x over 8 minus sine 2x over 4 minus 1 over 32 sine 4x plus k. Okay? And that is the answer. All right, so you have 3 over 8x minus 1 over 4 sine 2x minus 1 over 32 minus 1 over 32 sine 4x plus k, and we are done. All right, so any even power of sine or cos can be integrated similarly, okay? So we end it here for today. We thank the almighty God for being with us, for seeing us through, and we continue to pray for a greater experience. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye. Thank you.